just go ahead and start it get started um, now I want to apologize as this was supposed to be done back in July um, but as you've all known I've been kind of busy lately with moving um, so just let's get started with this bracelet um, this is my ocean bracelet and what I mean by this is I kind of want to focus more on the shades of the ocean like the color of the water so, I'm trying to explain this charm. Not really explain, it's just, it's kind of self-explanatory. Obviously, fish live in the ocean. <laughs> we have the, oh, I forget what this is called. It's an oldie but goodie. You know what, I don't remember. I'll have to put it down below. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's, it's not making waves. I think that's this one. I think this is called Currents. Yeah, that's what it is. It's called Currents. And then we have the bubbles, because, you know, bubbles in the water. <laughs> Making waves, which I love. Now this one's called Elemental Flow. And I'm not sure why I decided to put on this bracelet. I just think it has little swirls. Kind of reminds me of ocean waves. That's probably why it's on this bracelet. This one, I don't remember what it's called at all. This one I'll have to look up. But this one just is, is here because of the nice pretty um, stone color. Obviously flowers don't really go with the ocean, but it's got this really pretty blue. Which is why it's in this, on this bracelet. And then of course we have the effer, oh my gosh, effervescent blues? Effervescent, you know what, I'm so sorry guys. I've been branded lately, so I don't remember what this is called. I will, again, correct myself if it's wrong. We have the open sky spacers, I think. I just picked these spacers to kind of break up the Muranos. Doesn't really have anything significant with this bracelet. And then we have the compass, which is a very old uh, charm as well. I think it's real topaz too. And then we have the big swirls, starfish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ocean breeze, right? Ocean breeze. <laughs> and of course the seahorse. Now this bracelet is only two charms away from being done. I'm missing two Muranos. Um, I wanna get the aqua Muranos and put them somewhere here. And here I think somewhere. And then I'll be done with this bracelet. So yeah, this is my ocean bracelet. It's kind of simple. And again, like I did last time with my other, uh, my first, with my first video, I will um, give close-ups of these afterwards. Uh, and this is my Christmas bracelet, which is not completed, obviously. It's still a work in progress. And obviously you're gonna see a lot of the Black Friday charms from years ago. So the way I want to briefly explain the meaning between the of the meanings of these charms on this bracelet. Um, this is the star, like I wanted to like signify the star of Bethlehem. This little snow globe. It's just a Black Friday charm, it's the only reason it's on here. <laughs> By the way I'm going I might have to um, make a whole bracelet of just Black Friday charms. Um, this is the two-tone apple, and the reason this is on my bracelet is because my family t makes a kind of type of like a hot cider punch kind of um, every winter, every Christmas. It's a very popular drink that we like to make. It's like a hot cider, but it has apples and has other fruit in it too. 
um, we call it a punch, but it's more like a cider. Well, yeah, cider, and it's all non-alcoholic. <laughs> but every year we make it, and this signifies the fact that we make that every year as one of the ingredients that goes in that punch slash cider. This is the Holy Family. And I think we tend to forget why the reason Christmas is around. And I, I know it's really pagan and all the dates are wrong, but I like to keep this on my bracelet to help me remember the real reason of Christmas. Pine cones, because every year, ever since I can remember, my mom has always bought those cinnamon pine cones. More close up. Cinnamon pine cones every year, and I have also started that tradition. So I, every year, I go to Michael's or somewhere, and I buy a bunch of cinnamon infused pine cones. Um, the ornament, again, is just a Black Friday charm. Doesn't really have a huge significance, of course, just been an ornament I go on trees. Go to the 2012 Black Friday charm, again. Just a gift, just something Christmassy. This is 2015, 2014, 2012, I believe. And then we have the Jared exclusive. Oh, it's, it's upside down. <laughs> I think right that. I don't remember what this one's called, but it's obviously kind of a story of the Christmas night. Three wise men, Mary and Joseph following the star of Bethlehem, and then they get to the main, to the um, stables and the little manger, and then again, the three wise men show up. So, love this because of that. Um, the Christmas tree, of course, and. Out of all the Christmas trees that Pandora has come up with, this is by far my favorite um, because it has a little two-tone star, a gold star on top, and a Christmas tree. I don't really care for the other ones that have come out. Maybe the new one, but I have to check it out first before I can decide whether I like it or not. And this is the... Oh gosh, what did I say this one was? 15, 14, 12... This is 2013, I think? Black Friday 2013? I just liked it a lot, so I bought it. Kind of bought the rest, so I kind of have to buy them all year, every year now. <laughs> and this was an impulse buy. Um, it wasn't even meant to go on this bracelet, but I decided to put it on this bracelet just because it's a little gift bow. This may or may not keep stay on my Christmas bracelet, but for the sake of filling it up, that's why it's on here. Um, I am missing a dangle though on this side, so we'll fix that later. <laughs> Again, these are always work works in progress if you see them on the sticks. Um, for the most part, they're either works in progress or if I change out bracelets, I'll put them here and change them out, but mostly I work in progress. And I think you have all probably seen my most worn and my most popular, for me at least, uh, bracelet, which is my heart bracelet. I have dedicated several blog posts to this bracelet. And this one doesn't necessarily have any meaning. It's just hearts. Um, my husband used to travel a lot, and when he would travel, he'd come back with a heart charm, which I loved, so. Some of these I bought myself, though, so it's not all from him. Because <laughs> I bought myself. And I couldn't tell you where these came from. They're just different hearts. And this one I thought was almost done, but it's not quite done yet. I think I need the clip. I need the clear one. One, two, three. I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. I thought this was done, but it's not. It's it's still. It's almost done. I think the order of my braids that's almost being done is the star brace that only has one charm to go, and this one has two. This one has four to six, depending. This one I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, and where, before I forget too, I found my charm. I don't know if you guys remembered. I think I, I forget now if it's Instagram or I think my other video. That's right. In my other video, my second video in this series, I told you guys that I had misplaced um, the heart dangle that came with that bangle. Well, I found it. <laughs> so there's that. But of course, it's all packed away now. So I'll just have to put this aside and remember it. We're almost done. This one is my royalty bracelet or my crown bracelet. This one focuses on just crowns, anything royal or crowns. So 
these two, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep on the bracelets. I just think it's kind of cute, you know, when you're a little girl and you used to play tea, you dress up as a little princess and serve tea. This is why these are there. I know it's kind of childish, but it's a nice little memory. <laughs> of course, can't go wrong with the Prince and the Pea. It has a gold little crown on top, so it has to be included. The 20, what is it, 2015? Yeah. 2015 um, Club Charm has a crown on it. Really, 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 really wished it was a gold crown, but that's not the case. Oh, I think it's already bent. Look at that little crown. I think it's already bent out of shape. Oh well. So there's that. There's this one. I think it's called the King's Crown. One of my favorite charms. Love it. Of course, just the regular crown. And did I say this is called the Princess and the Pea? Yeah. And of course, you know, first dance. How can you not be a princess and not have a first dance, right? With your Prince Charming. <laughs> okay, and again, I will do close ups at the end of this. So you guys can have a little bit of a more up close view of these. Um, now, this one, you guys are going to have to forgive me. I completely forgot to prep. Um, this is the five station bracelet. I was not going to include it in this and I realized it technically is a moments bracelet. Um, as you can see, I love to wear this with my rock star clips, my favorites, absolute favorite clips, but they discontinued them before I could complete the series or the set. So I have this one random one here now. Um, I have to go on the search now for eBay or Facebook and see if I can find one more Rockstar clip to make this just Rockstar bracelet galore. So, and again, the part you guys have to forgive me is I forgot, again, I didn't prep this video properly and it's packed away. My multi-chain bracelet is technically a moment's bracelet as well. Um, what did I just say? Multi-chain? Yeah, the, you know, that's the one station bracelet with one little station here for the, the, the clip and then it's got the, the multi-chain and I've posted on Instagram several times so unfortunately forgot to put that aside so I can put this together as a video so I'm sorry about that but I have that as well as part of my collection and last but not least we come to my slowly growing two tones heart bracelet now which and I regret starting because this is an expensive one <laughs> well they're all expensive but my goodness this one's gonna be slow growing um, yeah, so again, this is something that I started, not necessarily my husband, I think he bought me the I Love You bead, but everything else I've purchased myself, just because I love hearts now. <laughs> so I like the symmetry this I have going on with this, so this might likely be what's going to happen like that, it's going to stay like this, the center be from Jared's, which I can't remember what it's called, um, I don't remember what any of these are called, so I apologize. Except for this one. I love you. And this is called a heart stroke, I think. And this one I don't remember. This one's vintage something. And this one I don't remember either. But yeah, this is gonna be my future two-tone hearts bracelet. Hopefully to go with a two-tone bracelet eventually that I plan to buy eventually. <laughs> and that's it guys. That is my entire moment collection as of July, I have to say. Now I am filming this late, like October late, because <laughs> I've been busy, but, and I know you guys know that I have added to my collection since then, but I'm not featuring them yet in this because this was supposed to be what I had for July. Next year, I will most likely do an updated moments collection for 2017, God willing, and um, yeah, you guys will see all the new stuff. You can stay tuned and just... Check out my Instagram, you'll see everything as I buy my hauls here and there. But um, they won't be in a collection video until next year. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's going to be a little while before I do the next series, which will be earrings, rings, necklaces, or uh, essence. Because um, everything's packed away still, so um, just stay tuned for that. I haven't forgotten it, it will happen eventually. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. 